Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. And here's a little little blog from Batting Into Comics about Kotaku or a Kotaku Journo or blog post or whatever you want to call them these days about how they find Final Fantasy VII too easy on easy mode. I actually already made a Twitter post about this. Um, like water is wet. It's like wow, thanks Kotaku. Really. Really great storytelling, telling us what we need to know about Final Fantasy VII Remake game. Uh, so here it is. Kotaku finds Final Fantasy VII Remake easy mode way too easy, and everyone laughs at them. It's it's ridiculous. Everyone loves this game. Everyone who's been waiting for this game has been, like, biting their nails, like, oh, when's it coming out? It's taken almost a decade. Here it is. It's not even the full game, but you know, people are complaining about the ending, because it contradicts what came back in Crisis Core, which was actually a really good PSP game. So here we have an actual complaint about the gameplay. So at least they played the game and they know what they're talking about. It's their it's their capacity to be a gamer, which is that question. Combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake, especially when facing powerful boss battles, involves juggling normal and special attacks, destructive and healing magics, and strategically exploiting enemy weaknesses unless you're playing in easy mode, it's just button mashing bullshit. Well, hence easy mode. It's supposed to be easy so you can get past it. If you don't know the, the new combat system in Final Fantasy VII Remake, you pretty much can only attack, and until you do, you are then are allowed to use items or magic as well as you power up your, your uh, limit break bar. So it's kind of silly. It's action-packed, which is cool. You can dodge and duck, that sort of thing. But... Uh, I don't like the idea of, like, I, I got to use a potion. It's like, no, 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 you have to keep hitting that dog a few more times. It's like, why? <laughs> why do you use magic? Oh, no, you have to keep hitting that dog a few more times. It's very silly. But it's fun, so people like it. And it's a way bigger, awesome combat system to what Final Fantasy VII was originally. But if you don't want that, you can always go to normal mode and play it very similarly to how the ATB system was in Final Fantasy VII and most of the Final Fantasy games. So it doesn't, like, it, it does, it gives you options, which is beautiful. A game respects the fans. They wanted a remake, they got it, and they give you three modes of gameplay, the normal one, or sorry, the, the new one, the normal one, which is just like the original, and easy mode. So if it's, you just can't do either, there you go. Seems pretty friendly, gamer-friendly to everyone. But this person, oh, it's, it's bullshit. It's too easy. Okay. <laughs> then came the dogs. Towards the end of the game, there's an encounter with a bunch of Shinra bloodhounds. It's not a boss fight, just a regular encounter between Aerith Teeth and a bunch of genetically modified puppers. I remember that enemy from the first game. The two characters, separated from the rest of the party, were quickly overwhelmed by snapping canine jaws again and again. There were just too many of them. I barely had time to get their ATB gauges to the point where they could use items or cast spells. See, that's how that's how fighting works. It's kind of strange. But I, I guess they want you to encourage you to attack. And then you could use other tactics. As Jason Schreier mentioned in his incredibly helpful tips post, there is no shame in switching to easy mode for this battle. If there's no shame, and if this is what you believe Jason Schreier says, why are you bitching that that's too easy? That's a, that's a very strange thing to say. After reloading from the game over screen five times, that's exactly what I did. Well, bravo. You're, the game is literally helping you. <laughs> Listen, this is too hard for you. Here's easy mode. Kind of reminds me of Devil May Cry when it used to do that. So games are friendly nowadays. Good for, good for games. Is this what you're reporting on, Kotaku? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the dogs, which tore my people apart time and time again, went down in under 30 seconds in easy mode. I didn't use spells. Wow, it sounds like it's easy mode. I didn't use special abilities. I barely had time to do so. <laughs> Basic attacks, highly ineffective in normal difficulty mode. Rip those doggies apart like they were tissue paper. Wow. It, it sounds like it's doing exactly what it, it, the title was. <laughs> exactly how it was designed to be. It's called easy mode. Hmm. Things are easier in this mode. Why is that? Kotaku brain doesn't think, don't know. As I was entering the game's home stretch and wanted to complete it quickly so I could dish with Jason about the ending, I left easy mode on and it continued to be ridic ridiculously simple. 
Yeah. What's your problem? My potion stockpile grew instead of steadily depleting. Wow, it's like you're not using all your resources because you don't need them. I barely healed at all during the game's final moments. Boss text designed to deliver massive amount in, in normal mode barely ticked. You know, these are these are great descriptions. He's describing, or whoever this is, describing exactly what you would happen in an easy mode of a game. It's not that difficult. You're not using all your resources. Your normal attacks are amazing. The, the damage from the enemy is not that bad. <laughs> Bravo! Welcome to video games. <laughs> I'm the last person to shy away from playing a game on easy. Well, apparently not, because you've never had this before. <laughs> But Final Fantasy VII Remake's easy mode is just is a joke. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's not. Are you like a, a hardcore gamer and you're like, ugh, easy mode too? Like, are you like seven or something? It's not even the game's easiest setting. Classic mode is easy mode with only character attacks and defends automatically. It might as well be a visual novel. Well, it sounds like journo mode for who, people who don't play games. It's funny because they're going to go into why uh, other Kotaku bloggers, I don't know if I can call them journalists anymore. As we call them journos or bloggers. It's like a journalist interviews persons and gets information that otherwise no one else would have. That's why Jason Schreier is so good. Even though he works for Kotaku, he's one of the best because he'll find information on Bioware or other companies that no one else would go out and find. That's why you have journalists. These people are bloggers or journos because all they're doing is doing reviews or opinion pieces without actually being gamers of any repute. Like you can't look at these people and go, yeah, this guy's re reputable. Totally. He, he totally knows what he's talking about. He doesn't sound like a complete knob who doesn't know how to play games or complains about the dumbest things. Here's Chris Kohler, the uh, editor on Kotaku, wow, did that Final Fantasy VII remake demo actually send my inter interest plummeting? I have basically zero idea how to play that first boss fight. <laughs> so here's a guy who doesn't know what he's doing. A million interlocking systems all thrown at you at once. Okay, so play the game, fine. Boss fight, oh, it's impossible. Make sure to attack but also heal. Wow. <laughs> Attacking and healing in a game? What? <laughs> What crazy calculus is this? But you can't heal, but also use magic. But also you can't use magic, but also make sure to stagger the enemy. But also he has a barrier. Well, I've never heard of staggering an enemy. I've never heard of stunning an enemy. These are, these are alien concepts to this, my, my virgin gaming mind. But also he has a barrier. Oh my God, enemies have barriers? What to do? But also hide behind this debris, but also... Wow, it sounds like you're playing a game. An, an action-oriented, real-time game with dodging and attack and timing and magic and items like every other game I've ever played. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Kohler. Really biting insight into the world of gaming on, on Twitter. And of course, he got this a month ago. So he had to uh, sample copy. And of course, people react to this as if uh, <laughs> these guys are from, from another planet. Selects easy mode. Why is this game so easy? Kotaku was and continues to be a mistake. <laughs> How many of their writers stomped their feet about entitled gamers when people said the game balance and artistic vision matters and then they seriously pull this out of... <laughs> it's par This is a joke. Kotaku is a joke when they make their opinions public. When they don't know how to play a game and they're saying, how, how does attacking work? How do items work? How What is healing? What, what is, it's so, why is it so difficult? Like, why is it so easy? It's, it's like tasting a steak and going, why is steak steak? It's like, are you four? Did you just get born? Are you, do you know what pain is? <laughs> There's other people make, making jokes about these guys. I mean, we, we can keep doing this all year. But man, the only complaint I've heard from actual gamers is the ending to the game. It, it sort of changes what came before. That's why when people who played Crisis Core got a whole other expanded story of what happened to Final Fantasy VII because it was like the, a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. It told the story of Zack 
and what happened to Cloud and a bunch of other things. Other characters were introduced. Lots of CGI, lots of great cutscenes. So, uh, cool game. I'm surprised they got they fit all that content in that one of those mini discs for the PSP. But the remake actually redoes some of the, the story and the lore from the original game. That's why people are, are taking umbrage to it. Like, wow, lore. People care about lore, and now you're changing the story. So there's nothing wrong with cosmetic things, but once you start changing the story, unless you're doing it for the better, you're probably going to be pissing off some fans. And this is an ongoing story. I We just did a, a, a cast a stream yesterday about lore. Um it's strange how, you know, the, the fans of, of games really, really care about lore and gameplay and hardcore elements that all these other fans or journos just don't, like, eh, lore, it gets in the way of the game or gets in the way of the story or easy mode gets in the way of, I don't know, <laughs> normal mode. <laughs> Hard to say. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. I hope you had a good morning and take it easy.